Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, November 18th, and this is Captain Sweep with his uh, morning little chat with the world. And uh, yesterday, there was a freedom rally at Vancouver that uh, shows a, a higher level of technology and uh, participation. Uh, people were beamed in from throughout the world, very high-end speakers. There was a great turnout and uh, Miss Plum was there filming and Miss Camille Capella was up there singing. So members of the Very Secret Plan were doing their thing. Now, I know most people are still in shock and I can see that uh, the Canadian Revolution is starting to gain a bit of momentum as more and more evidence shows up that this scamdemic is exactly that. It is not based upon science, it is based upon design, based upon design to implement further control measures upon us in a methodology that is uh, concealed by supposed uh, value in safety and health for us. And actually, what it is is just a further methodology to stop Canadians from actually doing what they want to do in ways that we can't even imagine. We're just still shocked that uh, this type of stupidity could be going on in our country. We knew our politicians were stupid, but we didn't know that it was this bad. The big question is what to do about it. Now, if you've been around the corner a few times, you've seen a lot in your life, and you can see that it's very rare for humans to come together to really create deep change within their governance systems. Uh, you can protest all you want. Uh, for years, I was filming in Victoria and Vancouver, all the protests, and they were always the same. There would be speakers over here, and you film, and then they would go on a march, and then you go to, let's say, the legislative uh, a building and some more speakers and then everyone would go home and it would be the same thing almost every week or every second week and after a while I sort of wondered at the creativity level of people because humans seem to get into habits and uh, we seem in the Canadian protest world to have that same habit of talking a lot marching a lot and then going home and never really crossing the line. And that's the big question we all have to ask ourselves. Where is the line and what are we doing to cross it? And I would say that we need creativity. I would say we need humor. I would say we need dancing parties. We need like large groups of humans, not social distancing, making a lot of noise, having a lot of fun, and getting a lot of attention, and making a lot of videos, and having campaigns where the online and the offline are working together in these pulses that constantly bring attention to the insanity of what is happening in so many areas. So we get to the point in our collective consciousness and unconsciousness that all Canadians are aware of the level of the design scam and what it has done to this country and all countries in the world and how it is linked to 9-11 and how it is linked to probably every false flag that has occurred because behind all of this are the same groups of freaking nutballs is what I call them. I mean, that's the thing. We, we go the 1%. We go the elite. No, it's, it's not... All these very rich people just scheming, you know, there's, a, there's quite a lot of very rich people, but there's a, a small group of families and groups that really have the power mechanisms. And they're the ones behind the scenes. They're the ones doing this design. The politicians are just following orders. They're puppets. I mean, nearly every government on this planet are a bunch of puppets that have been put in place by powers far more uh, nefarious than we know. And now through the internet and such uh, heroes such as David Icke, we, are, we, we have been shown 
that there are dark forces at work that aren't don't want to get acknowledged and don't want to come into the light don't want to be seen don't want to be pointed at can't be identified so let's just use the name freaking nutballs for now just so we can all come to agreement that there are certain people and groups that are acting like enemies to our species and these are the ones we have to look at and these are the ones we have to make fun of these are the ones we need to bring into the public picture in a new type of media and i think that's what's happening here but i, I see a whole new media system coming out of this because of what's happening in youtube and facebook i mean that type of censorship it's like again you're using your enemies methodologies and tools that they control to try to reorganize or to communicate amongst the people who see what is happening i mean that's insane so i know people are going to signal and telegram but the software system, the infotech that we are using together is very, very important. And just to be locked into this Facebook group, which is just a piece of the puzzle, but I see the Canadian Revolution Facebook group as something that is so necessary because most Canadians are so passive and they sit there and they won't move into action even when they see <clears throat> that insanity is happening around them. So we have to jump to a new level of media. We have to jump to a new level of producing videos and infotech systems that unite the people that are awake and want to work and want to do something about this. And that, I think, is more important than continually spending a lot of time on, let's say, um, educating the people that are asleep. And, I, and I'm not saying not to. I'm just saying that our movement or the movement needs to get a lot more sophisticated in terms of utilizing the amount of intelligence and utilizing the amount of people here who we don't know their gifts. Let's say there's 37,000 people in here. That's a lot of people. And if it was organized in a manner that actually had some structure that match, let's say, businesses or service or nonprofit organizations that, uh, you know, get things done. And I'm presenting or proposing a new type of structure called a share knowledge community that involves bringing 144 people together. And there are 12 different teams, and these teams all have a function. And this is part of the work that I do. I'm, I'm a systems designer. And uh, I've spent many years working on innovative uh, products and prototypes. And that's what I would like to bring here. I would like to bring some new order of structure to people who are willing and able to do so. And so this video is the beginning of me participating in the Canadian Revolution with a little bit more substance and participation. And I'd like to say hello to everyone. And I think that all of you are uh, uh, amazing human beings and that we uh, need to really see how to cooperate and to work together in a manner that's uh, fun and good and loving and kind and uh, showing the world there, there's a new way of having a revolution, but it's, it's more of an evolution. And uh, this is the beginning of it from my end. My name is Captain Sweep and uh, mm -hmm. AKA Elijah and wonderful to meet you all. Let's, let's really get to work and uh, get some things done.